what is going on youtube this is rob finally back again with a uh, another collection update video no it's been a long time um it's been a uh, trying couple of months you know i've had a few family losses due to covid and holidays and just being busy in general um so i am uh, finally back and i recently reorganized my collection i've added a lot of new books so i just wanted to show you guys uh what's going on with my collection right now so I'm going to start it all off with uh, my Epic Collections. Um, I finally finished my whole Avengers run here. I got uh, Judgment Day finally. So I'm really psyched to finally have all of those. And I'll just uh, slowly pan through so you can see what I have here. Yeah, I'm almost at the point where I have like all the Epics I want besides uh, new ones. So I'm pretty happy about that. You know, I try not to double dip with my Omnis too much. So that's why I don't get every Epic Collection. But I have all the ones that I don't have in Omni or that I just wanted in general. So got all the Iron Mans there, all the Hulks. I just recently uh, picked up all of these i didn't have any four before but in the last couple of months i picked up all of these and i'm just missing two of those then i'll have the uh complete thor run and finally the x-men down there and then we start the uh, omni collection which i just organized in alphabetical order except for these first few books i started it off with the uh, cosmic saga because i had a special place in my heart so there's the original cosmic saga the uh, Annihilation Saga. And then we start alphabetical with the Omnis. With Alpha Flight and Avengers. It's moving right along here. All those Cap on Man, there's a lot of Cap Omnis about to come out soon. So definitely going to be picking up all the ones I don't have. Some Carnage. Um. Nice set of Daredevil, pretty much everything except for the Silver Age book, because I never really had much interest in the Silver Age Daredevil stuff. And a lot of uh, Deadpool stuff. And Doctor Strange, Excalibur, and Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four continued. I cannot wait to get Silver Age FF uh, 3 and 4. They're reprinting 3, which makes me so happy. I've been wanting that book forever. We got all the uh, Guardians books. Quite a few uh, Hulk Omnis out now. There used to only be like one. Now we're up to uh, what, six all together. That new Moon Knight. Very happy to have that. Punisher stuff and uh, the new She-Hulk books. And then the, uh, all the Spider-Man stuff. So many Spider-Man Omnis. Cannot wait till Volume 5 comes out. Some Thor. Man, I hope they reprint uh, Silver Age Thor someday. And the Wolverine stuff, so missing uh, the Miller uh, Omnibus. I had to pick that up at some point. Then we get into all the X-Men books where I kind of break the rules. I mix the OHGs with the Omnis, so it's in all chronological order. Volume 4 coming out tomorrow, man. I can't wait. Definitely buying that. Got the uh, Inferno Omnibus coming out. That's going to be awesome. The whole uh, Messiah era here. We got the X Force stuff, cable and whatnot. And then I just go into uh, all my Marvel OHEs in alphabetical order here. Sorry. 
it's hard to get in this corner. And then the rest of the uh, Marvel OHCs. And then we start with the Marvel Complete Collections. Which uh, transitions to this shelf. All that awesome Spider-Man stuff. get into a bunch of X-Men and related titles. All those uh, Dawn of X trades. The last one's coming out this week. That's pretty awesome. Now lately I've been buying a lot of uh, Judge Dredd stuff. Really getting into 2000 AD and all that stuff. It is so good guys. If you've never read it, check it out. Really any of those uh, 2000 AD titles from that era are pretty great. So I got 1 through 19 of the case files. Those uh, Rogue Trooper books. And there's some other random trade paperbacks. Alright, so now we'll move on to the big bookshelf. These are all my books that are bigger than uh, OHC. So Six Gun, and Kaiju Max, and Letter 44, and some Jodorowsky uh incal meta barons jeff darrow stuff then all my uh dark horse oversized books i love this shelf it's my favorite got the luna brothers slip cases squeeze in there let me move on to some image stuff by remender and now the uh, the absolutes. I love absolutes, man. They're my favorite format. Got the new planetary on the way, and I cannot wait to get that in hand. These books just look so good on the shelf. A few uh, random Marvel Treasury editions there. And now on to the DC Omnis. Also, once again, there's just an alphabetical order. And all the Batman stuff there. Got that Dead Man Omnibus. I gotta crack that open because that looks pretty... Art looks great in that one. I'm also waiting on that Flash uh, Volume 2 to arrive. Can't wait to get that. Got that Injustice Volume 2. Tell me, do, do those two books not look amazing together on the shelf? Man, I love it. Some Justice League. Got that JLA by Morrison. Man, we need more Superman on these. <laughs> yeah, got that fifth uh, Teen Titans omnibus. How cool. Is, I mean, how many omnibus sets of five are there out there? You know, once usually not, not many. There are more than three or four. So getting a fifth volume there, it's pretty awesome. Now we move into DC uh, OHEs and hardcovers. Got, got them kind of all mixed together there. So you got the Aquaman stuff. And a whole bunch of Batman. It's uh, chronologically. And then some Elseworlds stuff there. Got a lot of JLA books lately. Um, starting with that Meltzer book 
and then these are all like the books by uh, McDuffie and then by Robinson. And I got like the, the Generation Lost books because I love JLI. That Plastic uh, Plastic Man Rubber Bandit book's pretty awesome. You guys should check that out. You never have. Got the new uh, Man of Steel by Byrne. And the rest of the Superman stuff. Some Swamp Thing and Wonder Woman. So that's it for DC hardcovers. Up next, we got the DC trades. Once again, all alphabetical order they got a bunch of aquaman there and then some batman awesomeness this line is so good it's like the best, closest thing dc has to like an epic collection line so i hope they keep going with those and then basically just got the rest of my batman stuff that's not like collected in omnis or anything like that got these two uh birds of prey books recently Simone run is really good. Then you got the Flash. I just sold all my John's Flash trades since I got the second omnibus. No need to double dip there. I'm running out of space too fast. All the Nightwing stuff. And Robin. Secret Six. Some nice fat Superman trades. These are really good books to get to. The City of Tomorrow trades. Things are like phone books, man. And our world's at war with especially. And then just a couple of uh, Vertigo compendiums, since I don't have these in hardcover. So now we got the uh, the Vertigo Omnis. Just picked up that 100 Bullets, um, Books of Magic recently. Keep on putting out those Vertigo Omnis. I love that stuff. Then you go into the uh, oversized hardcovers with a bunch of Morrison stuff. That Martial Law book, which is freaking badass. And there's the rest of the Vertigo. And then we have my little uh, Fantagraphics collection. So you got like Best of Wits End. The uh, two Tardy box sets. These are beautiful. Uh, Real Deal and Night Business, which are like Outlaw Comics. Cool stuff. Um... Neat Stuff and uh, The Complete Hate by uh, Peter Bag. Good stuff. This is one of the most beautiful books you'll ever see. You guys, if you don't know about this one, look it up. Watch some videos about it. It is amazing. You got the Angry Youth Comics and Prison Pit by Johnny Ryan. His books are just off the wall, grotesque, and just fucking great. Uh, Font David Bukowski. Um, it's kind of out of place here, but this is just that Grant Morrison his prose book, just about comics and superheroes. It's a great read, so if you've never read it, you really should check it out. And then you got the uh, Brubaker stuff by Image. All that stuff is must own stuff. And you got the Hickman stuff, some Greg Rucka stuff, that Luther Strode book, which is amazing. The Wiccan, Divine, the Complete Series, Postal, and all of that. I got my image uh, compendiums. And then the rest of my image trades. Then we get into uh, some Dark Horse. Basically all the Magnoliaverse stuff. The rest of the Dark Horse and then some other publishers. It's like IDW. Got those uh, Zenith from 2000 AD. The five uh, Lady Mechanica hardcovers. Some Alan Moore goodness. Some humanoid stuff. Some... Uh, Terry Moore stuff. I still have to get that five years uh, omnibus too. 
Then some more classics like Berlin, Bone, Mouse, Black House, and Black Hole, Essex County. And guys, that'll do it. Till uh, the next big haul, I will uh, catch you guys later. Be safe out there. Have a good one.